everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button. It's totally free. And also hitting the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with. I want to mention that up top, there's three little buttons right on the corner, on the right hand corner for most of you. Some, for some of you, it's in your settings. I do have a link to the video below in the description box to teach you if you're not understanding how I'm explaining to slow down the video. You can click there. It's a two minute video. Very simple. It's just a click, click away. You can slow down the video by clicking the three little buttons up top and slow down to the speed you would like. Also right next to it, there's the letter CC. You can turn that on and that will be for closed caption. All the stitching, everything that I mention and say will be written down here. You can pause, stop the video, take notes, and it will help you to understand the pattern. I don't write patterns. I get asked a lot about it and for those reasons, I ask of you to slow down the video. I know sometimes I'm a little bit too fast for these recordings, and I apologize for that. It's just I get my on my own bubble. This is all new to me also, so it's just a question of getting practice of recording, which I'm not fully used to yet. I'm getting comfortable at this point. So I want to thank every single one of you that have been from the start with me, have commented, shared, have tagged me. Um, Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your lovely, wonderful comments. Thank you again so much to every single one of you. Also for the people that came through, the women that came through with donations and also uh, some um, donations for the women in need of threat. Thank you so much. Some of you have shipped it yourselves. I Gratitude all the way. And some of you have donated into my PayPal account and into the super thanks that's below the, the video it has a dollar sign symbol on it. Thank you so much to everyone that has participated in trying to help out one way or another. Okay, so um, we are going to get started. Any questions, suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, you could always get a hold of me if you're stuck with some project like some of you do uh, into message me through Instagram. I do have a Facebook group, private group, because there's a lot of scammers and fraud into the crochet groups now. So you have to be careful. Don't open links that say cut or bit on it. Those are fraud scammers. Be careful, people. They steal people's identity and pictures and they post there with those links pretending that it's them. So stay away from that or report them in as spam. That's what I usually do. Uh, for those reasons, my group is private. You're more than welcome to join us in our group. Beautiful group of people we have there. Uh, we're one growing family. You can just request and I'm sure one of the monitors will respond to you ASAP. Uh, I also do have the crochet page. You can follow that there too, or my Instagram or TikTok. So there's so many ways you can get a hold of me. My email is below also. So anything that you're stuck with, feel free to ask uh, or suggestions. Remembering that I am in Europe, my time frame could be different than yours. Sometimes I will have to take a few hours before I answer you because I must be sleeping. It's overnight and it must be morning for you in your country. Okay, so we're going to get started, everyone, and I bless you, I hug you, and please keep your optimism always up and high, and never think that you cannot do this pattern. We are not born learned, we, we, we are born to learn, okay? You can do all things as long as you persist, be patient with yourself, and, and just continue on. Anyone can create anything they want, okay? Let's get started, everyone. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button. It's free and also bell notification to be notified of my new uploads. So I had launched yesterday the big centerpiece for the table with 3D flowers. The passion center table. Now, people, when you need to look for certain table runners or 3D flowers or curtains or 
uh, bathroom uh, rugs or kitchen rug. It doesn't matter what it is. On the playlist, I have a list of them listed and trying to organize and putting them into one place only, like rugs. All the rugs will be there. The uh, table runner center, centerpieces, they're all under the table runners. Um, the... Um, Bathroom stuff will be under the, you know, uh, bathroom stuff and rugs or uh, water tank covers and things like that. So make it easier for everyone, right? Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. I was requested and asked if I can do the same doily as I did the centerpiece but small version. Now, because I'll be using, I was going to create for myself two of them, small ones anyway, for side to side on my dining room table next to the big centerpiece, the 3D flowers that I have launched, which I'll put the picture here. It might tell you something. You might recognize it. And for some of you that are new, well, you'll get to see what I'm talking about. And uh, so I didn't want to add flowers on here because I have enough flowers as it is on the centerpiece. But I did want to bring in a little bit of the green because I do have the green on the flowers. So I want it all to match up. So I had to work quite a bit around the pattern to make it smaller and to have the same effect as the big one. Now you can use different color or you don't have to even do this. You can just do single crochets all the way through or just a peacock here on the center. It's up to you. There's so many ways to do it. Because I did the big centerpiece the way I did, I needed something to, you know, reflect on it. So I decided to go with this one and the outside in green. Uh, the big centerpiece, I do have these leaves on there, but it's in red. Okay, so 2.75 hook. I will be using the multicolored, obviously, for this, the burgundy red, and of course white, and then some lime green. Um, this is similar to Aunt Lydia number three. It's a little bit smaller, so obviously being a little bit thinner, the patterns become smaller for me. Using Aunt Lydia number three is perfect for these small doilies. It will be a little bit bigger because the thread is thicker. Okay, so we'll need a pair of scissors also, of course, and a small one to tuck in loose ends. This is no different than starting the big centerpiece. The only difference here is I've cut down on rows. On the centerpiece, I have seven rows of these. Here I have only five. On the centerpiece, I have three rows of double crochets. Here I have only two. And on the motives here, I have three rows of white. Here I have two only. Because it's a smaller doily, I don't want it to be massive. So in order to be, not to be massive, I had to cut down on rows and adjust the stitch to it so it can fit properly. Okay, so you can make whatever size you like, as long as you have odd numbers on the first rows here, row 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that means you'd go to 7, you'd go to 9, 11, and so on. Then you can go the size you would like. And coming here, it's three rows. So I've also cut down on the chain here to make this, because on the big one, I have 29 chain stitch. On this one, I have 25 chain stitch. Okay. So let's get started. I will leave all the links to the big one and the leaves and the flowers and all of that below in the description box in case you're interested to create the other one or even the 3D leaves, which I have um, flowers, which I have none around because I put all in the uh, big centerpiece. And of course, it's on top of my dining room, but I will have the picture up here again and show you. Let's get started, everyone. So the first thing I want to do is my slip stitch knot. This is the same way of starting the big centerpiece, and I'm going to do a six chain. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to come on the first one and close it in with slip stitch. Then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to do a single and chain two. This would equal a double crochet. Inside of the same circle, I'm going to do 23 more double crochets. So that means I'll have a total of 24 double crochets. This is row one. I'll meet you at the end. I've done my 24 double crochets. I'm going to come on my second chain from the first one we started. That single and two chain. I'm going to close it in with a slip stitch. Now we're going to do an increase. I'm going to come back in 
the same space, a single, and two chain because I don't want it to be too noticeable just with chains. Coming back in the same space and creating groups of two double crochet, one chain space, skip a space into the next one and create again two groups of double crochet. If your stitch is too tight, then do a two chain. Skip a space into the next one. We're going to repeat this all the way around. This is row two, skip a space into the next one. And we should have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yep, yeah, 12 groups of two double crochet all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. So I finished row two, I'm going into row three. So I closed in with a slip stitch. I'm coming back in the same one, doing a single. This is always how I start my first double crochet, okay? So there's no point of always repeating it. On my second double crochet, I'm going to add two together. So we're having an increase of adding two at the end now. So we can keep going until I have five rows of increase. This time I'm doing two chain, coming in my first double crochet with a double crochet, and on my second two together. So this row three will be like that. As, we, as it's being row three, we have three double crochets. Row four, we'll add two at the end, so we'll have four double crochets. Row five, we'll have five double crochets. And then I'll come back to you at the end of row five, because it's just a repeat now, just adding and two chain space between them each time now until row five. So I'll meet you at the end. You should have five double crochets on your fifth row. Okay, everyone. So I did up until row five, and I have five double crochet, two chain space between them. The only one we did, one chain space, was just the first one. So now, row six, very simple. No difference than what we've been doing with the increase. Coming back in, this is all about double crochet all the way around. So single, two chain as usual, double crochet, one per space. Coming to the last one, we're going to add two together. Okay. Two, four, six. Inside of the space here, we're adding two double crochet in the same space, and that's all we're going to do for this row. Row seven, the next row, is just one double crochet per space. There is no increase. So, one double crochet, row seven per space, no increase, all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to come back to you. Don't forget, we have to add two together on the last one here. That's the only increase. Next row, no increase, just one per space, double crochet. I'll meet you at the end of row seven. This is row six. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished row seven going into row eight, which is starting to do those motives. So I closed in with a slip stitch, coming back in, doing a single. So I have my first single, my second, my third, and my fourth single. So we'll be building these four groups of single all the way through. Now we're going to do 25 chain stitch. I've done my 25 chain stitch. On the big center piece it's 29. So I'm going to count down here. One, two, three. On my fourth space, my fourth chain, I'm coming in with a slip stitch. And closing it, making it a big loop. Chain three, one, two, and three. I'm going to skip one, two on my third one. I'm going to do a single, my first single, my second, my third, and my fourth single. And I'm going to repeat again 25 chain stitch and repeat the same thing one, two, three, four, five, until 25. I've done my 25 chain stitch. I'm counting one, two, three. On my fourth one, slip stitch. One, two, three chain. Skip one, two. On my third one, I'm doing my single and create your four singles. So one, two, three, and four. 
and then again one two three four five and so on until you have 25 chains stitch we're gonna have 12 of these motifs all the way around i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we pretty much reached the end i'm closed in with a slip stitch on the first single of the four groups that we have here of singles and then i'm going to come back in and i'm going to do a single on the single and two chains that will equal a double crochet we're going to create four double crochets on top of the four singles so we have three and four now we have this three chain going up so we're going into the first chain we're going to create three double crochets in the chains so we have three chains that means three double crochet we're going to have a total of 15 double crochets all the way up so here where we connect the closing of that loop we do a double crochet so we have four now five until we get 15 okay so we've done 15 double crochet we're going to do two chain coming back into the same one the 15th we just finished doing we do a double crochet and then again coming back down we're doing 15 double crochets all the way to the end so you know you have three on this side too and one in the connecting where we closed off the loop so we have to make one there also okay so i'll meet you down in 15 double crochets down so i've done my 15 coming down just want to mention in case sometimes you lost track of your chain that you've done at the beginning maybe you're missing one chain or something to have the right count of 15 don't stress over it you can just add two together right at the end so we're coming into the first single and doing again those four singles uh, four double crochets sorry as we did at the beginning so this whole row will be repeatedly like this all the way around and then create again on the first chain here one two three where we have the connecting four make sure you get this very first one because it's pulling due to the fact that we've closed it in right so you got to make sure you get it there because sometimes you'll lose count because of that you will jump that one that's squashed in there okay so make sure you go well into it so this is what we're going to do all the way around and i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we pretty much reached the end earlier i had mentioned there's 12 there's not 12 there's 16 of them which i'll write it at the beginning where i made the mistake of saying there was 12. so i closed in with the slip stitch after doing my 15 double crochet i'm going to come back in do a single two chain and one double crochet per space so this row is only double crochets one per space all the way around and then I'm cutting the thread and I'm going to come in with my multicolored red burgundy because this is a smaller doily. If it was a centerpiece, it would have been three rows of this white. But because it's a small um, doily, I'm only doing two rows of the white and one of red. Okay, so that's all you have to do is just keep going all the way around. Coming into where we have the two chain space, we're going to add two double crochets. I almost forgot that part. That wouldn't have been fun, right? Inside of the two chain. Two chain again and two more double crochets inside of the space. Even the next row with the red will be the same thing. And then one per space again all the way around. So the only increase is inside of the two chain with two double crochet, two chain and two double crochet in the same space. Everywhere else is double crochets all the way around. Okay. 
Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did the two rows. I'm coming in with the multicolored burgundy red, and you can start anywhere you'd like. And we're going to just repeat the same thing. We're going to do the double crochets over double crochets. And where we have the two chain, so we'll do two double crochets, two chain, and two double crochets. So single, two chain, and continue to do your double crochets. Very simple. Okay, and then when we get here, we're going to do on the two chain, two double crochets, two chain, two double crochets, same thing as we just did. So I've reached the center of the two chains. I'm going to do two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet exactly like we did on the previous row and then continue one double crochet uh, per space so we're going to do this all the way around then you need to cut your thread because we need to turn the motive here to have that effect design so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so we pretty much Finish doing all the way around. Looks all funny, doesn't it? But it will all look normal in two minutes. Okay, so now we're going to grab the motive like that. And we're going to turn it in this way. And then just fix it a bit, of course, down here. So we can turn a bit here like that. And we're going to do this all the way around to all of them so it's going to stay like that okay again just turn it in and then fix it a bit down here and we're going to do this to all of them all the way around okay so i'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so I pretty much turned all of them. Now, as you saw at the beginning, I had done this green around, and I did my leaves here and on top in between. I'm not feeling it, and when I don't feel something, I take it down completely. So I'm going to do it with the red, and I'm not going to do the leaves in between. I'm going to do the leaves only up top. I think it crumples up too much on the pattern over here. I think it's too much crumpling, if you know what I mean, too. So I'm going to do it different. But if you want to do it that way, you can go ahead. I'm going to change. I'm going to take that one down afterwards and uh, change it up. So now I'm going to still come back in, and I'm not going to use the green. I think it's taking the beauty. If maybe I was doing flowers, it would have been a different story, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to come in the center of the two chains here, and I'm going to do three singles. This is the last row. Is it the last row? Okay, so one single, sorry. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, Five chains so yeah this is the last row it would have been three singles if I was putting flowers on but I'm not forgot about that part one two three four five six seven chain and if you wanted to you could have just done singles and peacock if you want don't want these leaves on there one two three four five come back in so you'll have two chains of five Five chain and the middle one with seven so I'm coming in the first double crochet and I'm going to start to count one two three four five six seven and eight singles so on my eight single I'm going to count from the top on the next motive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. So I'm going to hook it on my eighth one here with a single also. And this is how we're going to tie them together. I'm not going to do no leaves here. I'm just going to continue. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's what you're supposed to have by counting them down. Come into the center, single, chain five. So it's just a repeat now. Three, four, five. Come into the center, close it with single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back in, close it again with single. One, two, three, four, five. And again. So we're going to do eight singles again so we can close it off with the next one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grabbing the next motive, counting backwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on my eighth one. I'm going to close it and then that's it and then you continue to do your eight singles here do your five chain in the center for your leaves your seven chain and then your five chain again and you're good to go one two three four five so basically it's just a repeat now and this is how it's starting to look I think it looks really pretty and I think I'm going to leave it that way instead of the green and it's not as crumpled up here on the center. So this does it for this tutorial. I'll leave the measurements and everything below and all the links to the centerpiece in case you want to create the centerpiece. I will also have a little video at the end with it on my table also with the centerpiece on the table so you can see them side by side of the centerpiece with candles, any kind of decoration you decorate, or you can place it any little table, round table, or any place you'd like. So please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know what you think of the small doily, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you, everyone. Send you much love and much hugs. Until next time, bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.